Hey, it's Punky J. What's going on, guys? So I had a dude ask me to do a review, which, thank you, man, because I don't have a lot of people ask me to do requests. Makes me feel special. I'm sorry to be corny, but it really does. So thank you for that, man, and um, hope you enjoy this review, guys. Uh, Fast and the Furious. That's right. Uh, 2002, I believe, is when it came out. And I just saw it not long ago, so it's funny he asked me to do this. Uh, and I just saw Tokyo Drift not long ago either. Great movie. Fucking great movie. Uh, it's about a guy from the south, you know, who, who starts getting and hanging out with people who race cars like Hondas and stuff. It's actually reminded me a lot of myself uh, since I'm from Texas. But we're doing the review on the first one, so we'll just stick with that. Um, but before I start the review, though, let me just say this. Uh, as far as the cars I like, in case you guys were wondering, I just thought I'd tell you guys. Uh, I'm a big fucking Ford and Chevy guy, believe it or not. Uh, I know looking at me, you might think, you know, this guy likes his fucking Hondas. And he likes his, you know, uh, fucking Toyotas or whatever. But no, man, I mean, I have an appreciation for those kinds of cars, but... <laughs> I don't I don't like small cars like I just I, I like the big beefy ones uh, I like ones that can go 200 miles an hour without nitrous oxide but unfortunately there weren't really any of those cars in this movie which was kind of sad you know there were no like Lamborghinis or fucking Ferraris uh, it was mainly just like Honda Civics you know stuff like that with the big spoilers and you know <laughs> All that shit. Not that I, not that I have anything against foreigns, you know, like that. But um, yeah, I, I'm more of, I guess you could say, a uh, muscle car kind of guy, you know. But it is what it is. I still enjoyed it, you know. I'm again, I'm not a hater to those kinds of cars, but I just my one gripe is I wish they would have had more variety of cars in that movie. But you know what? It's all good because I know before Fast and the Furious. There weren't really many movies that had to do with, you know, stuff like Honda Civics and super modded up kinds of cars. So I guess that's, you know, kind of what the purpose of that movie was to cater to that specific audience. But you really, you don't have to be a car fan to enjoy it. Uh, you know, it's your typical uh, cop bad guy movie. It's about a cop who tries to pretend to be, you know, this racer to infiltrate the these gangsters who are uh, illegally stealing stuff from trucks and shit like that. Uh, it's actually pretty cool what they do is they'll like shoot the fucking truck <laughs> and jump in the truck. And when I say truck, I mean like 18-wheeler. And it's like, dude, why would you risk your goddamn life just for some VCRs or TVs? I was thinking that. I was like, ain't no way I would ever do some dumb shit like that, you know, just to fucking... I mean, Jesus Christ, that's crazy shit, but, uh, yeah, there's a lot of action in this movie, you know, not just racing, but action, too, um, and, you know, I, I love Vin Diesel, I'm, I know people probably don't like the guy, he probably, the, he gives off kind of a douchebag persona, but really, uh, and for those of you wondering, it's, it's a bald guy with the, the schnoz, has a big nose like me, um, you can tell he kind of has the sensitive side to him as well. Uh, in the movie, the reason, uh, come to find out why he was in jail, is because uh, basically I, I believe someone killed his father uh, in, in racing. I guess they, they slammed into him or something. I don't quite remember the reason. but uh, So it's, it's kind of like you know they make him out to be sort of the gangster with the soft side. And I kind of like that because... I feel like I'm kind of that way too, you know, like, I'm a little rough around the edges, but I still have a soft side, and so, I really connected to Vin Diesel's character in the movie, uh, but Paul Walker, I mean, amazing guy, um, <laughs> let's just be real, I mean, the dude's fucking pretty, like, if, if he was like a transvestite or whatever, I mean, I'd, I'd fuck him, even if I knew that he had a dick, I'd still fuck him, I'm just being real, like, some motherfuckers like I'm not saying I'm gay or whatever but it's just like wow like he's just and I'm sorry to even be talking about him like that since I know he passed away but I just <laughs> had to be real I'm just saying he's a good looking guy and you know it's just um, 
I, I'm kind of a pretty boy myself, I guess. Not that I'm nearly as good looking as he is, but I, I sort of related to his character simply because he was like, you know, the pretty boy too. But um, anyways, though, yeah, rest in peace to Paul Walker. Um, incredible actor, you know. I, I don't. I've only seen a few Fast and Furious movies, so I can't really say what his, you know, how good he was in other movies. But I'm sure he did a fantastic job. Uh, I saw one and two, and I saw Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift was probably, you know, <laughs> I guess one of my favorites because I related most to the main character since he was like, you know, a boy from the south who liked the big muscle cars, but he ended up learning how to drift from these Asian dudes. It was just a really fucking great movie. So I highly recommend Fast and Furious, uh, Too Fast, Too Furious, which was the sequel, as well as uh, Tokyo Drift. They're all streaming on Netflix too, by the way, I've noticed uh, here recently. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, sorry if there's some things I forgot to cover in the movie, but that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. You know, there's a lot of racing. Uh, Paul Walker has to prove himself, you know, to, to the gangster people. And so there's a, there's a whole lot of like, you know, competitiveness and I mean, it's pretty much everything you would expect from a movie like that. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of reviews here, so get ready for that. Because that's what I do, man. As I like to watch movies and review shit. So, uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.